Hey guys, Paradoxio here. Welcome back to a brand new um, video. This is part two of our how to create a Discord bot in Python series. In uh, last video, we basically just made it to where a bot can come online and respond to a ping command by saying pong in the chat. Anyways, in today's video, we're going to be a little bit more in depth with commands and we're going to create a completely new command and we're going to edit our ping command to actually give you the latency of our bot. <clears throat> Anyways, without further ado, we're going to create a um, eight ball command. So I'm going to type in client.command and then async def magic eight ball and type in ctx and asterisk and then question. Go ahead and we're going to type pass here as a placeholder because we're going to uh, do something here in just a second. So all my responses I have are stored inside of a text file. I just pulled these off of like Wikipedia or something or some other. It was like a website that just had a bunch of responses for, responses for a magic eight ball. So I'm going to store them into a file and I'm going to basically tell Python to treat this file as a list and then use it in my Python file. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to type in with open and then the directory of our file. So I'm going to type in yt bot slash responses.txt. I want to open it in read mode. And I'm going to basically define it as F. And I'm going to create a new variable called random responses. Whoops. It's equal to f.read lines. And while we do that, it's a good idea to go ahead and import random in your file. Uh, you do not need to pip install it. It already comes with Python. So it's already ready for you to import. So go ahead and import that at the very top of your file. Now we're going to create a new variable called response is equal to random from our uh, newly imported module, then dot choice, and then random responses. Now we're going to type in await ctx dot send response so basically what this is doing is when this command is ran it is opening this file and then calling it f uh, it's defining a variable called random responses and then setting it equal to f dot read lines which will treat this file as a python list so if you know what a list is like the little um, brackets and you can put multiple different things in it so now this file is being treated as a list and it's taking response and setting it equal to random dot choice random responses so random responses is basically um, set equal to all of these responses and response is basically set equal to a randomly chosen response from random responses so, but yeah, basically, uh, this is treating that file as a list now. So, if we go ahead and run the bot, we should be able to just ask it a question. So, magic underscore eight ball, are you a secret spy? And it, he says it is certain, so let's type it again, magic eight ball, hello, how are you? And as you can see, it randomly picks a, um, a response. So, yeah, yeah, it randomly picks a response. So it works fine. But if you notice, it's kind of uh, tedious to just keep typing at long command name out. And it's not really practical with the underscore, it just takes too much time to write out. You want to be able to write it out quickly. So you're probably wondering, why can't we just type it in like this, 8-ball? Well, as you can see by all the squiggly lines, it's throwing us a syntax error because this is not how you properly define a function in Python. 
So we're gonna have to keep it um, Magic 8-Ball. However, we can give it uh, new command names. To do that, we can uh, copy and paste a list of aliases. Just like that. Inside our client.command decorator, inside the parentheses, you want to type in aliases and then set it equal to a list of different names for your command. So now, whether we type this or any of these four, the command will be run. And if I go ahead and run it again and show you guys. So one of our uh, aliases is just 8-ball like that. So if I go ahead and type 8-ball, as you can see, it still works. I don't know why it's, uh, I don't know why the answer is like that, though. But you get the gist, it still works nonetheless. So that's pretty much it for our 8-ball command. Now I want our ping command to make sense and actually give us the bot's latency. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new variable called bot underscore latency. We're going to set it equal to round plant dot latency multiplied by 1000. And we're going to remove this string right here. We're going to type in F and then our strings. So we're going to be making a F string now. And we're just going to type in Pong. Some curly brackets. Inside the curly brackets, we're going to type in bot latency. And then MS. So basically what we did was we created a uh, variable called bot latency. And we uh, set it equal to this uh, round uh, method with client.latency uh, multiplying 1,000. So just that way we get an even number of milliseconds. Or not an even number, but like a, a number that's just a whole number, I guess. I don't know why I said even. But anyways, basically that's what this line does here. And this line just sends Pong, but without the F string, it wouldn't send us to bot latency. It would uh, send us something else. So we're going to need to use the F string to actually uh, have that variable inserted inside the string. Uh, this is only available for Python 3.0 and above, I believe. Yeah, I think it's just for Python point. I think it's Python 3.0 above. You can actually use F strings. So just like that, we are pretty much done. So if you go ahead and run this bot now, let it log in for a bit and connect so if i go ahead and type in ping it says pong and it gives us the milliseconds of our bot sick so it actually uh gives us the latency of our bot now so that's awesome anyways uh that's just about does it for this video uh, thank you guys so much for watching again i appreciate it so much uh, if you have any questions you know what to do leave them in the comments i'll try to help you the best i can and in the next video, we'll be going over some events. And I think we're going to go over on how to actually conceal your bot token. So, uh, anyways, uh, be sure to subscribe, uh, leave a like, and comments if you would like. Uh, whoops. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.